better than a pot pie or tamales, the two together. And Kristen Numbers is here to share her recipe for chicken tamale pie. Did yeah. you come up with this? I've never heard of this well, before. Okay, so we have a fun tradition at Christmas at our house where we get together and make tamales. And we do that every Christmas Eve. It's a labor of love. It takes a really long time to get the corn husks and the masa and the filling. So you know me, I like to simplify. So this is everything together in one, comes together in 30 minutes oh, for yum. your holiday dinner or any, any night. This is just a great dinner. So we started with a can of the black beans, mm -hmm. about a cup of chicken broth. Okay. That's in here. And then I put in, I love the salsa from Smith's. This is the mild, but they have all different levels of heat. So, and I love do, buying store brand and I love knowing the good store brands to get. So yeah. the Smith's. This one is awesome. Okay. Awesome. Kroger brand. So we just put that in there and then this is already cooked chicken. So I just boiled it and then shredded it, but alternately you could chop it, you could do a rotisserie chicken, you could grill it, whatever you prefer, but this was so easy. I mean, it boils for about 10 minutes and then I just shredded it in my cuisine art and threw it in here. So this is nice and hot. Don't touch the okay. cast iron. <laughs> the cast iron skillets are on sale at Smith's this week, so I wanted to highlight those. And what's so fun about them, I mean, you can use them on your stovetop, in your oven, and we're doing both today. It goes straight from the stove to the oven. So the oven is preheated to 375. And then the only thing we need to add to this is a little bit of green onion. Ooh, I'll let yeah. you do the that. Whole thing, kind of put mm -hmm. it in. You can put the whole thing in. That's about two to three green onions that I've chopped. And Yum. you can see I used the green and the white part. I, I like was going to ask. I never know where a I stop. A lot of times <laughs> I just use the white part and toss the greens. But I love this because it's colorful and adds a lot of flavor. So you go ahead and stir that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I have some chicken broth and water here. And then I'm going to add to that some cornmeal. These are a staple at our house. We, we constantly are making corn muffins, cornbread. These are on sale at Smith's this week also. Two for a dollar. So it's a great time to stock up on those. Now, when I combine it with the heated chicken broth and water, this is going to thicken up. It's going to get really, really thick, a beautiful, almost it takes the place of that masa like you would in tamales. Once that thickens, I'm going to add a cup of cheddar cheese. This is sharp cheddar that I grabbed already shredded at Smith's and a tablespoon of butter. That will go in there and, and then you just spread it right on top. So I'm going to keep stirring this for a minute and let it thicken. In the meantime, I wanted to show you a couple other fun things that awesome. you can grab at Smith. So do you want to hold up? I do. They have for, this is why I love Smith. It's one-stop shop for all of your holiday needs or any family needs, but this time of year especially. So this fun cookie decorating kit, they had all kinds. I saw this morning they have an ugly sweater <laughs> cookie decorating. <laughs> Cookies are already made and they actually taste really good. And look at these fun little snowman accessories. My girls are going to have a really fun time with that. Well, my family loves to do fun things together on Monday night and I am trying to figure out what to do this week. I love that I can just run to Smith's and it's get this. It's simple. It's Do you know what I love even more? So I've, I'm recently a convert to the whole um, curbside pickup. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that it makes it so much easier because then I don't have to get out of the car with Maggie. I can just do the click list, get my list done, get my recipes all figured out on Simplify Supper, go and they bring it to me. They bring it to your car and you sit there like with your sunglasses yeah. just rocking mm -hmm. up feeling like a movie star. Yeah. I love I it. I love that it's making it easier because I don't want to get her out. It's freezing cold and it's I know. so hard it right now. It really does simplify all of our lives. One more thing I wanted to show you. Can you hold up that whimsical Dr. Seuss oh, looking uh, lemon cypress yeah. tree? These are so fun. I had to grab one of those. So I thought these would make a fun neighbor gift or a hostess gift or just put it on your table and then you can replant these and they grow to be 30 feet tall. And this is so feet fun. Wide. Isn't that amazing? And it's decorated so cute for the holidays. And if you smell it, it smells like lemons. So fun little grab for the holidays. And this is what this tamale pie looks like when it comes out of the oven. So you bake it for 20 to 30 minutes. And then I just topped it with some sour cream and some cilantro. You can top it with your favorite toppings there. It's a fun Mexican dish that comes together in a real hurry while you're setting up your holiday decorations and everything else that you have going on. It's a busy time of year, so it's fun to just simplify it and have sit down to a home-cooked meal that you know is quality ingredients from Smith's. Well, and it's nice to get all the help you can get, whether it's from Smith's or from Simplify Supper and Krista and all of her amazing recipes that make it easier for us to parent and survive this time of year. Thank you so much, Krista, for Thank being here today. So much. To get this recipe, visit our website, abc4.com slash gtu. You can also visit Krista's website, simplifysupper.com. I'm excited to try this during the break, and don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to share eight neighbor gift ideas next.
Cabinets and Mantle for Good Things Utah.